Three tops finest flashbacks, full case, PYT, 118. Um, the other thing, by the way, is when we do the break, we send an email. The email just kind of like notifies everybody that, that purchased the team through the store that the break is going. So if they want to watch it live, they can. Some people only like to watch their breaks live. Some people watch the videos later. Some people just watch recaps. Everybody has their own way of doing what they like to do, but you've got to let them know when you're doing it live as best we can. Um, now, I'm going to open all this, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Maybe I'll let you try on like one box. Okay, I know. I know you did. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's easy. No, but I meant like how to physically open the actual packs. So this particular product, it's people don't really know, but it's it's actually a pain in the ass if you slice it on the back. It doesn't like to open so easy. So you fly flip them over, and then I go from the front. Now, I am not the fastest pack opener here. I'm definitely not. But I'm not slow, but I'm not fast. So... I'll show you like one box at a time, okay? Now, all that stuff is just whatever. I don't care how you take the packs out of the box as long as they're fine. But one pack, keeping it, this is what I do. You can, there's other people that do it different ways. One pack, it's facing you so that you don't see the back of the, because if you could see the back of the card this way, on Panini, the back of the card is always the best card. On tops, it's not. But I do it this way, this way. If I'm ever opening Panini, I'm not showing anybody the best card, right? Because it's on camera, right? Here, I'll show you. All right, so facing away from me, I pull this little part. I rip it. And then you, like, kind of just let it open up like that. Like, it's just going to go down on a seam, and then you throw it. Now, Hawk does it differently. He's much faster than me. So my way's not necessarily the best. But the whole point is I'm not really, like, touching much... Up like yeah, you're just like it's, you're kind of keeping the card in good shape. You're just holding it on the side, whatever. Um, but like one pack at a time, just to practice, and then after a while, eventually you can just pick up a hold and a whole bunch and just hold them in like the heel of your hand, you right. know, safely. Um, when you if you ever break and you show the cards, it's important to be wary of wary of the corners because the corners can be damaged easily. And depending on the type of product, they can be damaged easier and easier. For example, that paper, you know, this is whatever worthless, so I don't care showing you, but if I like, you know, it's like now the card is totally dead because it's like the corner is just dusty. So with a chrome card, it won't be that easy, but still try to be careful because the condition of the cards is so important when they get them graded, like they're going to next week at the, the release that we're doing in California. We're doing it. Do you know about that or no? I didn't, know. I didn't yeah. know about that. So we're doing a special thing. You, you, I don't think you'll be there, but we're doing a special thing in California for three days next week um, for the biggest product of the year. We're doing a, There's a release. We're doing it in California, and um, we're doing it at the PSA headquarters. They're the ones that grade the cards. They're the ones that grade the cards. So we have a special deal with them for three days for the release of this big product, and they're going to be grading all the cards that we want them to grade like on site immediately as we're pulling them out of the packs and people request them to be graded within 24 hour turnaround nice. which is like unprecedented and it's going to be amazing um, but yeah it's like it just stresses the importance of the condition of the cards is it really means it, a card can be amplified in value tremendously with a good grade and um, the raw cards are never worth as much as a card that's graded well so um but yeah, eventually, like I said, you just, I'll, I'll have you try with the next box, but you basically just want to like take the pack, just Put the get it going, the and then yeah, but it just kind of just like, it goes down like, you know, like, because like you're this, that you're like holding it, it just kind of like goes down. You can't just like rip it off like a window, right? because then it'll, it won't like, you know, it doesn't, it's not like I'm pulling here, this won't work. But if you pull from like the top down, you know what I mean? And then you're also kind of like protecting the corners, right? Right. It's like the corners are just, they're free. They're not touching anything. That's why I open it this way. The other way, by the way, technically the only way to do it better than what I'm doing is like go like that. So that you're not even touching the side of the card. No fingerprints, but nobody's perfect and that's just too much work for me at that point. No, I've, I've, at this point, I'll openly admit like I have the habit of doing it the way that I do it. 
So doing it that way would be difficult for me, right? Right. So that's why I'm trying to teach you good habits because bad habits are harder to break than good habits okay. are hard to pick up. Yeah, it is, it's all gonna be like pop one and everything. No, they're gonna be shipped when we return, Noah. I, I believe Derek said they're all gonna be shipped when we return. Here, try. On the camera, though, they gotta be able to see it. Yep. So you're holding like here, watch, I'll show you. Watch. So you're like holding it up here. Hold it here. That's okay, because this is outside of the pack. It's safe, right? Okay, so like, now you've got this. Rip like that, or whatever. Right, but now you go back to holding it here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's good. That was pretty good. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly. No, that was really good. Because part of being a number two is going to help the speed of opening the packs. Yeah, you don't have to be shy about the top of it once you rip it. Yeah, that's really good. Perfect. Practice makes perfect, and then repetition eventually will be fast. That's all it takes. You're doing great. So obviously we're opening one box at a time just so I can show you, but what we're gonna do is, I'll let you finish opening this box, and I'll just open an entire box of my own. Okay. Right? Yep, no problem. Perfect. You're a quick corner. Yeah, I'm excited that everything's gonna be pop one. What's up, guy? The answer is no at the moment. I, a lot of people have asked that question, uh, 350. So, so basically, um, so basically, the way we're doing it is there's we, at the moment we don't have anybody. Um, at the moment, we don't have anybody to prep the cards. We've been trying to convince some people to do it that we know are good at it but they haven't been willing to do it. If they are, if they change their minds, they're gonna, they'll are gonna. they probably do it for just the bigger cards because it's it's just too much to do 1,000-plus cards a day. Um, it's not possible. But, but um, I can tell you the good news is that Hawk and I are gonna be very careful with your cards and that they're basically farm to table, pack to grade, right? So yes, is it possible that there'll be a fingerprint on it? Yeah, it's possible. Is it likely? No, but it's it's possible. So I can't guarantee it. But we but there's other people that have requested that like Hawk and I kind of be our own kind of like guide. Like if you guys need to see the centering, or if you can't see it perfectly on the screen, or if you want to know how the corners look or anything like, Hawk and I are right there to tell you honestly exactly how it looks and and if there's any problem with it, we're gonna tell you. You know, if you ever ask us if you want any specific anything, we're there to help. Um, this is weird. Packs are upside down in this one. Um, now, the other, the other, yeah, the other good news is this, is that, the other good news is this, which is that if this goes well, which I expect it will, give me that box if you want, if this goes well, which I expect it will, then we are planning on creating an entire new subdivision of a, of, of a PSA department here at Blez. Now, it's not, it's not gonna be a full department with regards to you guys could just send us in whatever cards you want and we'll clean them and get them graded for you. That's not what I think it's gonna be. What I believe it's gonna be is if we pull a card here for you at Blaze on any of the channels or on Instagram, if we pull the card for you, and only if we pull the card for you, then we will be willing to send it in a PSA with a special arrangement that we have in a partnership with them, right? But that's only if we pull the card. We don't want all the added liability. We don't want you guys sending in cards and stuff. But if we do pull the card for you and we w and you guys want us to grade it, at that point, when we have our own department, we will have full-time preppers for the cards. 
So we won't for this. I don't think we're going to for this PSA thing, but we will if the PSA thing goes well and we create a department here at Glitz. Say your team was in basketball again? Um, the uh, Blazers. Because Blaze. oh, I got right, family right, yeah, in Portland, right. Oregon, yeah, yeah. but you, you know. Yeah, no, I forgot. Raised here. Don't really have a specific. You no, know. no, Portland is the answer. You're good. Yeah, you know, you know. Here, I got these. Nice gotcha. Now, the next thing that we're going to try to teach you is how to top load the cards. Perfect. I'll show you that one next. For my next trick, let's get set up. You can take a seat. Comfortable. You're going to sit over here. No, I didn't see any. I didn't really look, and I didn't open all the packs, so. While I'm teaching Tajay over here, it's definitely not a good time for me to do any peaks. I didn't see any super, no. I didn't even see a peel, but I feel like we probably have one. I thought, like, maybe I saw a peel earlier. Yeah, my bad. I was going to come outside with you in back. I told Bro, me I don't care. Right, you're good, good, dude. Right, yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, do I know how to unban? I mean, let me see. I think I know, I think I know. Let me take a look. What's going on, Sean, how you doing? Where's, oh, I didn't see that. Uh, nice, Ronald. Excellent. I'm just trying to answer um, that question. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I think I think it's here, right? Is that Scott? Well, you know what that one, is, that one is? Um, is don't say it out loud. Yeah, I think I know what it is. Can, I, it's, I thought it was the T, the T, whatever. But yeah, I thought so. I must have typed it in wrong. I've never seen this before. I don't know who's from. I probably guess it's Scott's phone. Yeah. Is that Scott in the chat? Play sports yeah, cards? Yeah. Check your phone. Were you going to look at something else, by the way? Is that, was it? Oh. Yeah, Scott was just telling me that someone's banned in here that wants to be unbanned for a draft or something. I was trying to, but I was... Oh, you knew? I don't... Yeah, Korean Pies? Yeah, but I know what I'm saying, but I'm like looking... I was trying to... This is... I'm trying to get in to un oh, okay. unban them. Oh, that's what I was going to But, I, but I, maybe I was looking at it the wrong way. Is there like a different place to... I'm not really sure. I was going to play around with Yeah, it. that's what I was just doing. I'm pretty sure it's here. All right, I'll go tell Scott to look at Yeah, tell him to tap 45 on his phone. The number is 45.
Okay. Um, Let's turn on the refractor light for a second, too. I see 5-1 on the wall. Is that a Dynasty case? Do we have a case of Dynasty in the house? Is there a Dynasty case in the store? Is that Dynasty? Oh, my God, it is. We have a Dynasty case in the house. No way. Where do you get these cases? What a dream. What's up, Bing? Kareem Pies, we're trying to figure it out. Stay tuned, my friend. We're working on it. Let me do this. Oh. Wait, what? Well, that's... So, it, he, we, that's, like, so now we're here, but, like, manage permissions. Um, what I think you have to do... Click on the Blez logo in the top right. Does that have to be changed to... I don't know. Is that just... Are they all under this one? Is I think, see, look, yeah. It's this? Okay, yeah, so if you click that. That's huh. what I'm saying, but I'll show you. I'll go back. I'll show you. Here, I'll just do this again. Community section? No. Where's the community section? Community. I went here. Yeah, I found it before. I went here. Okay. Right? Oh, there's community. Okay. Yeah, but still, it's not here. It's not in community. Creator Studio? What? I'm sorry, Cody. I'm trying to... We're just trying to unban this guy. You want to play with it while yeah, I'm doing yeah, the break? Yeah, we watch out, Tasha. Let him get in there. All right, we'll do this break. Sorry, Cody. We're just trying to unban this guy, but I'll do this break. I'll start it now. My apologies. Oh. Flashbacks 118. One door uncommon. Ooh, uncommon refractor of Alonzo for the Mets. To Mr. Salami. Send a salami to your boy in the army. Oh, here it is. Where was it? Under, I click settings on the left, then community. Oh. Then I was in, I tried settings. Oh. I didn't see community in there. Nice. Nice. Get to see all the trolls over time. Right? You get all the, <laughs> all the names, bro. Legends. Richard Simmons. There's Josh Richard Botnick. Simmons. Yeah. Damn, Botnick, what'd you do? That's good. Kevin Durant, look, we, we, we Barry, Barry, remember Barry? I remember Barry. <laughs> Barry was great, yeah. There's a lot, there's more than Barry McCockner, whatever his name is. All these trolls, that's great. That's a lot more, oh! Di Dr. Classy? <laughs> remember Dr. Classy? He was great. He was a, he was a legend, bro, for sure. Eglinton. Nice picture of Jags. <laughs> I wonder if his name was just Kareem. I think it was just Kareem Pies. Rare of Ripken Jr. for Zilla and the Orioles. Ooh, looks like uh, our autograph. We'll put that down and we'll come back to it. We still have one more rare in this stack, though. We're not going to show the auto that soon. No, no. Cabrera Uncommon, rare air of the no-go for the Cardinals. Going to the Onion. Oh, my God. Sharpletic's name isn't on the Cardinals. Is there a glitch <laughs> right now? Is that a glitch? I have no idea what they're going to be. I don't think the, I don't think six figures. No, I don't know. Kareem Pies was banned by Mini Jags, says Henny. You're innocent. Yeah, that must have been long, long ago. That was like when I can't she. Find his that name. was a year ago when she turned 21, right? Probably. All right, I'm just gonna leave this page up. I'm you can't find it. No. Nah. You know what you could do? Here, hold on. I have an idea. Watch this. Try this. Because this might help. Are either of those him? Did you see either of those names in like the ban list? 
but I was going to just go ask him. It's because he's in Blood's Blood right now. I was going to go. Oh. His name would be under a good Okay, name. perfect. If he's Kelly Scott. I, I didn't know he was there. Yeah, yeah definitely just ask him. Alonzo on common. Mountcastle on common. Matty O. You guessed it, uncommon. Volpe, not uncommon. He's rare. For Bok Choi and the Yankees, we like Volpe. There's a gunner base right in front of an Outman refractor. I love when the refractors are the rookies. Dodgers, Tomas with a hit. There are, for sure. What happened? What did people do? Why am I seeing so many cuss words in the chat? What just happened? I agree. I like. I told you guys, no, I prefer cats and dogs to people. But <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Rare. Jeter, the captain. Bok Choi and the Yankees. Bryce Harper, uncommon. Do we feel that Bryce Harper has lived up to his expectations as a baseball player so far in his career? Serious question, because I feel like in a lot of ways he has, and in some ways he hasn't. But he's definitely a great player. That's why I asked the question. What's up, Chow? Yo tengo hambre. We're not trying to make money off the prep. We just, it's, it's, it might be just too much for us to offer. I honestly have no idea. You guys are, I mean, I'll, listen, am I creative? Yeah, I, I definitely, you know, to the left hand side enough, I can be creative. But, there's a rare, the big hurt for Eric Lund and his PC. Um, I'm creative, sure, but do I know like the grading and all that stuff as well as you guys or as well as Hawk or S Split? I don't know. No, I don't. Like, I definitely don't. It's not even close. I collected primarily during the Wax Junk era, so I just don't know like you guys know. So I apologize if there's concerns or questions that I can't fully answer, but I don't think, I, I don't, my guess is we don't have a prepper on site. The liability is huge. That's the reason that they, listen, the liability, I'm going to tell you guys right now, that word, liability, is the reason, the reason that we haven't done this sort of stuff before that there's no department at Blaze already. It's literally the reason. I don't, it's, it's, we, I told you what in my best guess and opinion, both what I think we should do and what I think we're going to, whether this for sure stays the way that I'm saying or not, we'll, we'll find out. But I believe that it's likely we don't have a prepper at the the uh, the Bowman. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus, wow. Sorry. Don't kill me, Bok Choi. That's probably the worst I've ever handled a single card in my life. Right as I'm talking about how important the, <laughs> the cards are. Sorry, Bok Choi. Um, so, what I'm saying is we're probably not going to have any prepper at the uh, Refractor. Cabrera, Miggy. Um, I don't think we're going to have any prepper at, at, the P at the PSA thing. Um, my guess is we don't. I think Backer was trying to get like one or two different people that like he knows and are trustworthy and that they know exa they're like perfect, you know, as to what they what they, what they had to do. That's different, but I don't think that we're going to be able to make that happen. I think that is appeal. Ooh, is that appeal? Yeah, that would... Ooh, it's a rare appeal. Nice. We have a rare appeal. Guess the rare appeal for 42. What's up, Char? Darb? Guess the rare, rare peel for 42. I can't speak tonight. I need some coffee and food. Um, I don't think we're going to have a prepper. I think that after this goes well, we're going to have an entire new division at Blaze. 
where we will have a prepper. Roger Maris, Rare Yankees. There was a Jazz Uncommon in there a moment ago. We like Jazz here at Blaze. Um, and I think once it's in-house, and once we're only doing it for cards that we are pulling for you guys, you know what I mean? Then, then I think it makes sense to do it. The Big Hurt. Everybody loves The Big Hurt. Mr. Baseball. Tom Selleck, Mr. Baseball. Who doesn't love The Big Hurt? Everybody get their... Uh, the Rare Peel guesses in. I want to show it. I am born in 82. Oh, is Ronald born in 82? 83, close. All right, I guess everybody got their guesses in. Well, let's pull the, the, the loop, you know, let's pull the old trick. Let's put this one down. Let's do the other rare. Trout. Trout rare. Haven't seen him in a minute. Cody for the trout hit. A trout sighting. Ooh, Vientos refractor for the Mets. Rookie for the Mets. Going to the salami. All right, let's see what the rare peel is. Good luck. If you haven't guessed yet, you've officially run out of time because we're going to show this bad boy. Rare peel at 10 for 42 in Blaise Buck credit. Here we go. Legend. Oh, Johnny Bench. That's crazy. I pulled his SSP out of a Bowman Chrome Hobby the other day. Johnny Bench, 2 out of 10. For Cincinnati and Dodger 14. Nice card. Rare peels are super cool. Dale was telling me, I think, that the rare pe rare peels do better than the uncommon and the common peels for whatever reason. So this is nice. Here's Johnny is right. Here's Johnny. Like the shining. I saw uh you guys see that that thing about uh Kevin Garnett and Cousins? when they were asked privately, not in the same sit-down, but they were asked who the number one player they should they, they regret talking trash to in basketball games during their career, and they both instantly answered Tim Duncan, and then they both had stories as to why talking trash to Timmy was just not smart and how it didn't work. Um, there was... There was one of the stories that Cousins told, Freddie Freeman Uncommon. One of the stories that Cousins told, to get to the point, there was like a part of the story where after Cousins talked smack, Duncan looked at Cousins with these like big eyes and this like maniacal smile and, um, and they caught it on camera and they showed I, I'm watching this like interview on camera, whatever. They showed the clip of the actual scene from the same that actual game, where Tim Duncan smiled and his eyes got really big and wide. And my first thought when I saw that was, "Here's Johnny." I was like, "That is a scary looking man right there." Like that straight up looks like Jack in The Shining. <laughs> that was my first and only thought when I saw that Tim Duncan evil grimace. Tovar, rare. For the Rockies. We like Tovar. Yeah, Tim Duncan was a behemoth, man. He was so underappreciated in so many ways. One of the best of all time. Grisham. It's a really, if you haven't seen the random clip that I'm talking about, it was really cool. Uh, it, the, uh, bless you. Thank you. The, the story was like, I mean, I, Bless you. you. Kyle Tucker on Common. I'll just, I know this is the baseball channel, but I'll give you the brief story if you want. Just part of it. You guys can watch the Kevin Garnett half. But the, the Cousins, he was like, man, he's like, he's like, I lost every time I played against Timmy. He's like, my first couple years of my career, I was scrawny. I wasn't as thick. I hadn't hit the gym yet. And Timmy was at the end of his career, and he still whooped my ass every single time that we played him. And then he said that he was like finally having a good game against Duncan. This is like, the story's so good. He goes, I was finally having a good game against Duncan, like my third year in the league, where I had like, you know, like 14, 16 points in the first half. He goes, I was getting away with every single charge. And they show the clips, and he's literally lowering his shoulder and just 
ramming into Tim Duncan and not getting called for a charge. The interviewer says, who was the ref that game? He goes, Tim Donahue, <laughs> right? So it's like they're obviously letting him get away with the rare, with the, uh, with the charges. Nolan Ryan on the rare. So, so check this out. So, ooh, Garrett Cole, uncommon. Refractor, nice. For Bok Choi, Yankees having a good break. Um, so he goes, he goes, man, he goes, so Tim was letting, letting me get, Don, he was letting me get away with all these charges. So he's like, I had the best first half I ever had against Tim Duncan. He goes, and then in the third quarter, he's like, I do it again. I lower the shoulder. I get a charge, but I don't, they don't call it. I get two points. And he's like, and then I pointed in his face and started cursing, you know, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I started getting in his face just because I was all amped up. And he's like, ooh, see, like, this is what I'm saying. See, like, I'm, I'm seeing right now, like, there's a ding on this. There's a ding on the bottom right corner I see. of this of this Garrett Cole. It's the first blemish I've seen in a while. Quality controls him pretty good recently. But there's definitely a ding on the bottom right corner, just letting you know. Um, so, yeah, so, like, after he talked smack to Duncan, he said that Duncan scored like the next like 12 points in the game or something that he just literally just took over the game and he scored the next 12 points in the game and when in you know and right away he talked smack and then Duncan just block two points steal two points and just got the next 12 points in the game and they lost he's like we lost the game yeah he's like I he's like I never talked smack to Timmy ever again <laughs> smart yeah you couldn't you couldn't rattle Duncan Pretty sick. Man, Demarcus Cousins. I was, I was, and Demarcus, he's, I mean, he's, all, him and Garnett, they love talking trash. I'm surprised, though, that your answer was about the Harper question that I asked was because of injuries. Was because that because he's been hurt that he hasn't reached full potential. Brandon Crawford, uncommon, gunner on the base. I just think that, I mean, I guess times are just changing. It's, I'm just old fashioned when I think of the batting average and stuff. Couple rares and then we have the auto. Ooh, that's a good un a good refractor, Morel. There he is, Kareem. Is that you, Kareem? Kareem P. Can I mod you up, or is it the real Kareem Pies? Who banned you? Tell us who banned you if it's the real Kareem Pies. That's a nice Morel. That's right, refractor of Morel. He's a stud. The gentle gentle giant. Yep, that was his nickname. Okay. The more mature name. Yep, you got it. <laughs> All right, Bo Jackson. <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> the old Arnold quote. Cabrian uncommon. Bo Jackson on the rare before for the Royals. Another rare coming up here. It's going to be Gunner. That's a good one. Gunner for Zilla. And then now let's take a look at the ink. Do, 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 do. What's up, Mello? Do, 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 do. Hello, Dram. I might just start calling you Black Betty. Dram Bam. Whoa, Black Betty. All right. We have an auto. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Legend. Ah, it's Ichiro. Very nice. Ichiro or Jeter are probably the two best legend autos you can do. And that's going to be Ichiro. Fifth, or 63 out of 100. Mariners. Stro, Stro's hot. When you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah to Mike Stro. Um, recap. Let's take a look at the rares. By the way, is it official? Oops, sorry, Gunner on the base or the rare. Tovar, is it official? Is is uh, Otani a, a Blue Jay? Is that official? Baby, Volpe, No Go. Is it official? Thank you, Stro. That'd be crazy. Bro, 
I, I mean, I don't know if it's official yet. I, I was reading that it was like as good as a done deal, but I don't know. Wow. Okay. The truth comes out. Thank you, Kareem. I appreciate your honesty. It's not a done deal, really. Wow. If it's not a done deal, then he, he's never going there. Morel Refractor, Outman Refractor, Vientos Refractor, Miggy Refractor, Garrett Cole, Uncommon Refractor with a ding in the corner, Alonzo Refractor with no ding on the corner. We have Appeal. Uh -huh, I faked you out. Johnny Bench, 2 out of 10 on the rare Appeal. And then Ichiro on the ink for the Mariners and the Stroster. That was... Top's Finest Flashbacks, full case. PYT 118. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Congrats to those that hit. Sorry to those that missed. That was the break.